G'day and welcome back to my channel. Just uh, great to have you here. Still on Olive Sheppey at uh, the uh, Kentucky East Firearm and Archery Club's uh, shooting range. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's really overlooked uh, in the shooting fraternity, and this is international, I believe, as well as the EDC around the world, um, and that is health. It's a controversial topic. Um, I've had a few lively discussions with people certain people um, but uh, we should just say the proof is in the pudding and uh, the picture tells a thousand words and also some videos of them but anyway I digress so today what I just want to encourage the, the, the target shooter here is uh, we are we are working on our skill set but our, our the engine that drives us our body must be in good conditions so you know as, as if we purchase a vehicle uh, and uh, what fuel we put in, it matters. If, uh, if I have a Ferrari, which I don't, um, well, I, want to, I want to put good quality fuel, good quality oil in because I want that engine running correctly. I'm not going to go and put um, sugar in the, in the fuel tank, am I? No, I'm not. Uh, that, that, that'll destroy the engine. And, uh, and, uh, and like the engine of your vehicle, um, our engine here is, has been created to to function properly, to self-heal to a point because we put good fuel in. What, what's the fuel? The fuel is our food. Um, so, you know, today in our modern society, we want convenience. We want to be eating uh, fast food. We want to have our sodas that are refreshing and, and, and the list goes on. But we attend the gym and we, as we get older, we, uh, we kind of slow down. We shouldn't, but we slow down. And... Um, our diet becomes incredibly important. So what I'm saying is what you, what you put in is what you're going to get out. So you can't be, you know, in your, in your 40s crying, oh my gosh, I'm so slow, I'm sore in the mornings, what a, what a, it, you know what, it, it's, uh, it's one of those uh, age-old um, excuses, oh, I'm just getting older. No, when I'm older, I'll just be old and I'll be, be decrepit and stuff. There's no need for that. Um, Putting the correct fuel in training is, is really, really important, and there is no excuse. I am knocking rather loudly on the, do on the door of 50, and uh, it's going to be open pretty soon. And um, yeah, you know, it, it's, I, there's still, you know, mornings that I get up and um, I have my free military uh, barometer and thermometer uh, on me, and uh, all those injuries I sustained whilst in a certain unit. But besides that, in previous previous uh, videos I've discussed dry firing. Right, dry firing, it's, it's pretty simple. We take a rifle and it is rendered safe. Um, chamber flag and it is empty and I've verified that it is and obviously everybody in the world and the internet can see that this is, uh, is safe. I will be pointing at the camera. My cameraman is elsewhere whilst I sit in with a slight drizzle of rain whilst he enjoys, shouldn't be a coffee, but probably will be. Anyway, dry firing is, firearm is empty and we are training our drills as shown in previous videos. But if I am doing my uh, fitness training at a gym, I can't take this along to the gym. It's kind of frowned upon in most countries and it should be. So. Uh, a home-based gym is really ideal. Number one, it saves fuel, it saves money, and um, you get to do kind of what you need to do. There's enough stuff on the internet to show you what to do for an effective workout. Define your mission and what you want to um, achieve. Do you want to uh, be on the next cover of Bodybuilder magazine? You know that that that's great. Um, if you if you want to if you want to be like that and walk around on the beach in a speedo kind of frowned upon, but I guess you could. Um, but what is probably ideal is a fighting fit. Uh, fighting, now fighting is broken up into, obviously I, I need to defend my life, or I need to perform on the shooting range. I need to be able to get into positions coming around a barricade, um, shooting through uh, portals, stuff like that. So covering that, uh, we work on three planes on our body. Now, those are, it's a transverse, sagittal, and coronal or uh, frontal planes. So what that is, is the transverse plane is I'm twisting, okay? 
Um, sectional is the front and back, and coronal is from side to side. Now, where would I have that in target shooting? Well, it's pretty easy. If I am engaging targets on uh, my transverse plane, I am shooting from target to target. I'm engaging my different steel targets, paper targets, doesn't really matter. Sagittal plane, if I come around a barricade and I have a lower target, I need to bend down. A coronal plane is side to side. I come to a, a barricade and I move from side to side. Doesn't really matter what side it is. So having flexibility in your different planes is really, really important. So that would suggest that the spare tire, the six pack in a cooler box should go. So how do we achieve that? Well, you achieve it by um, pursuing excellence in everything you do. So if I, want to, if I want to achieve a fighting slash target shooting um, you know, body where I can perform and I can um, achieve better times, I can, I can get around barricades, I don't fall over you know, walking backwards into barricades, um, my fitness regimen is going to be, have to be important. Now that doesn't mean I sit now, I, I do deadlifts and I, I squat and on, on Olympic levels. Well, I can't do that. It's just, I can't. <laughs> Plain and simple. So what I, what I do is, for me, when I do my dry fire training, is I incorporate it into my, um, into my training, my weight training. So I'll have kettlebells and I'll do my um, sets that I go through. And um, in, in between each one of those sets, I will do my draw strokes. So I've done some, uh, some lifts and I do my, my set of that. And then I'll do 20 draw strokes from high port compress and low port compress. So what that does is that's training me for on the day when it is hot, I'm tired, I've put targets out, stuff like that. I'm still strong enough to bring my rifle up in a good time, in a safe manner. I'm not dropping it and moving it around because my body is tired. It's not strong to bring the rifle up, engage the targets, get a good time, happy days, make safe and, you know, enjoy the fruits of my labor. So guys, work on that. Uh, it, it, this is not a, a discussion that's going to solve all your problems. Um, it's not here to make you fit. It's, I'm here to encourage you to say, you know what, you can achieve better. You can be better. Don't dress yourself up in all the tactical cool stuff and think that you're now just super ninja. It is. It comes down to what is your mindset. If you're not pursuing excellence in what you do, then you're not going anywhere. If you're not in your dry fire working hard, when the time comes and you're on the shooting range or wherever and the adrenaline starts to pump, you will devolve into your last training session, which could be, I'm too tired. I'm No, it should be, I'm finishing this off. I'm getting a good time. I'm going to be safe but I'm going to pursue excellence. So that's all I got to say for this morning. Um, we'll do some more videos. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Uh, you know, it's, it's all the stuff is for free. Um, but I encourage you to, if you're in the UK, hey, come pay us a visit. Check out our YouTube, uh, YouTube channel. Check out the um, Facebook channel. And um, come and join us for a, a fun day of target shooting on the Isle of Sheppey. So guys, as always, skill over time equals competence and pursue excellence in everything that you do.